Oh, here's the boss. Ah, oh, but how's it going as CEO? Yeah, great. Until one of my doctors did an illegal operation and now the patient has lodged a formal complaint. Good luck. Make sure you validate her feelings by nodding a lot. Chris, what the hell were you thinking? I was trying to help a patient in pain. Rahu's patient. I should never have gotten involved. Well, Rahu is in trouble too. Good. No, not good. At this point, I could lose two doctors that I cannot replace. So how much trouble am I in? Well, let's just hope you and Rahu can share a cell, eh? Mum worked her butt off even when she got sick and you were just sitting on all that money. You thought you'd balance the scales then? Do you even remember why you hated her? I never hated her. She's my child. She fills my heart. I'd do anything to swap places with her. Nick, is there any change? Medically or emotionally. Why can't you even answer a simple question? Hi, I just came to check up. How are you both doing? Better than some. She's alive at least. Sadie, I'm sorry I was a bit judgmental about your situation. I guess it's not much fun stitching up knife wounds. Mm. So. Look, on that topic, uh, the police called to say they'll be here shortly. <sighs> Do we have to speak to them? I've already been fobbed off once. Look, I'll do what I can to help. And I thought you might want to speak to them somewhere else, so I'll organise a room. I can get you a lawyer through social work. I'd matter if you do. I'm screwed. How's the pain? Oh, horrible. A big picture, though. Yeah. Well, you're not going to be out of here in a hurry. Is there anything you need help with at home? I'm a bit worried about Blue, my putty cat. <laughs> well, the neighbours are feeding him, but they spoil him with roast chicken. He might defect. I could check in on him. You'd do that? Yeah, well, I'll be discharged before you so I could pop round or whatever. That's very kind. It's, you know, Mum wanted to make things right with you, so if she can't, then I will. If you want. I do. I do, thank you. Assuming I'm not in jail. Janet and Sadie, this is Officer Henry. Oh, I'm sorry, Officer. I won't be able to help you. I didn't recognise my attacker. Oh, I thought that... No, no, no. This is my granddaughter. She was involved in a separate incident on the same night. Yes, that's right, yeah. I didn't recognise who stabbed me either. OK, ladies, come on. I apologise for wasting your time, but I can't help you. Or won't. Sorry. For everything. So I called the distributor. Jimmy Lark, mix up with dispatch. Sorry, love, we will sort it now. Mm. Nice work. Oh, and the calf is doing nachos, so get it early. Nachos from the calf. That cop did not believe a word you two said. Well, <laughs> as long as Sadie's safe from prosecution, that's all that matters. Mm. Anyway, we've got bigger issues, so mm. I'll meet you in these ward. Thank you, Doctor. Mm. It's my pleasure. Why did you tell that cop? What makes you think I'd tell him anything? Well, I just thought... I don't know. No, you don't know. You don't know me at all. Couldn't find any carving knives, so work with what you've got, yeah? What are you doing? You can have the first stab, I don't mind. What? Well, if stabbing each other reconciled that lady and her granddaughter, maybe it'll work for us. Very cute. Ah, uh, I'm busy. No. I want this done. Okay, let's just yank the plaster off. I'm not going over it again, Nicole. What, you're, you're happy holding on to all that anger? Do you want an ulcer? Go away, please. I'm over it. You are clearly not. And while you're not, the people who care about you suffer the most. I mean, didn't you learn anything from running out on your family? Why didn't you just turn to Drew? Or to me? And just say, I need help. Because you needed us. And when we needed you, where the hell were you? 
Why run when we were there for you? I had a complete breakdown. I wasn't capable of asking for help. Leading up to it, you were? Yeah, while well, I was in counselling. For five minutes. I was juggling two kids, a new baby, a marriage, a job, or with full blown postnatal depression. A nightmare, especially by yourself. You guys were there, but it was like you were behind glass and I couldn't reach you. You were blocking the hurt. <laughs> I wish everything hurt and I knew somehow it was all my fault. All you had to do was tell us. Us. You and Drew. Yeah, don't be ridiculous. Look, you two were always tight and the second I leave the room, bang, it's all on. You didn't leave the room, you left the country. The only way to be sure I wouldn't hurt anyone again was to go. And have an affair. I was drowning. We were drowning too. Drew was beside himself, so were the kids. Maeve and I had just split. Wilder had died. That justifies you no, and Drew, does no, it? Of course not. But we were, we were desperate and, and scared and confused and yeah, we, we made a mistake. Just like this was. Yeah, I want to do it here. Haven't I backed you all this time? Like, didn't I deal with your betrayal and help us both get through that? Aren't we both in a better place? When we remembered what we loved about each other. We remembered what mattered. I need to be back on a learning curve to work hard and feel passion for my work. I need to work with people in a new way, to collaborate more, learn more, to trust people and let them trust me, to be strong, to fight my corner, like I'm doing with you. I had faith. And I backed you through illness and bad times. And now I want you to back me. You owe me that. <laughs>